Hi, welcome to my curly hair video, like what products I use for my curly hair. Um, I get a lot of questions about like what I do for my curly hair. Um, not just really from YouTube, but from friends outside of YouTube too. So I just thought it would be helpful like I share what products that I have found through the years that work for me. Obviously, I was born with curly hair, so I have been trying to tame the beast for years. Um, and I have found things that really work well for me. So I'm just going, if you have curly hair, the, maybe this will, these tricks will be helpful so that you can maybe wear your hair curly more often. Okay, so... Um, I'm just going to go from taking to from the top, like taking a shower. So in the shower, I make sure I use like a really good conditioner. I didn't bring it out with me, but the one that I've been using lately is the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle. Um, and I just really put that through my ends and, um, I like to make sure that my hair is really, um, moisturized. It's like a good deep conditioning treatment because if you have dry curly hair, that's, not good. Okay, so as soon as I get out of the shower, I brush my hair. I have to because I have really tangly hair. Um, there's two ways that I do this. If I'm going to be wearing my hair really, really curly back in the day, I would put um, this Chi Silk Infusion um, hair serum on it. This stuff is like gold in a bottle. If you don't get anything, you should get this. This works for straight hair, and it works for curly hair. It works for all hair. Um, it's also a heat protectant, so um, it's just awesome, this silk infusion stuff. So I put that on my hair, and I automatically notice that it feels silkier and nicer, even if I'm not wearing my hair curly. So I put that throughout my hair and on my ends. Um, then I take mousse and I use this Pantene Curls Mousse um, and I flip my hair upside down and then I just like put the mousse in and then I scrunch it from the bottom like this and it, my hair can go from being like ringlets at some point to like waves like this and it really just depends on like how I structure it after I take a shower. If I wanted it like this then I'm, this is the process that I do, is I put in the mousse and then I put a towel over my head and like go about my day. If I want ringlets that form, then I put the mousse in and I immediately with my head upside down and like right out of, get out of the shower, my hair is like wet, just not even towel dried, it's brushed, put this, this in, put the Pantene, I like this one for the curls the best, and then you immediately are scrunching up your curls, and I hit it with a blow dryer with the diffuser attachment. That allows the heat to like sort of dry it, the mousse forms the curls together, and then they turn into ringlets for me, and they're like all PC together. Okay, so that's how I do it for that. For this, this is, I put the towel on my hair with the mousse already on and it's kind of scrunched up. I put the towel on and then I come, I let it dry just a little bit in the towel and I come back probably like 30 minutes later. I like get my kids breakfast, all that kind of stuff. And then I put in this reviving curl cream from Macadamia Natural Oil hair care products. I got this. At Ulta. It smells pretty decent. Um, I like this because it's a little bit sticky. It has a pretty decent smell and I find that it really forms the curls. So I put this in and then I just hit it with my blow dryer like scrunching it up on low heat. Don't do like a high heat. But low heat and low pressure, low blowing pressure and I just scrunch it up and kind of hit it with a dryer. Dry the top of my hair and then just like let it just a little get a little bit dry and then I go back in with this sometimes I sometimes I use this and another thing that okay so I go back in again with another layer of this after I have dried it just a little bit and just do this and then I let it air dry the rest of the way um, it ends up like this okay which isn't great but this is like how my hair will end 
And then I take a small barrel curling iron and I, you know, help it out by doing some light curls, which I will do at some point. I will do and then I will come back at the end of this video and show it. So anyway, how about that? Okay, so I hit it with, you know, I just like do a curling iron and I help it out a little bit if I'm like actually going to want. This is like um, don't have time type hair. You know, and sometimes I'll like braid it and like pin it back like that and like let some of these curls go. But a lot of times I help it out with a curling iron um, and that just looks better. Um, another product that I've loved and I've used um, for a few years now is this Curly Sexy Hair Curling Cream. Um, this smells really good and it has a very clean smell and it tames your hair, tames your curls and it really helps with the frizz. So I really do like this product. Um, also, another product that I just got that I'm going to be trying out is this healing oil treatment. Um, I don't know if this will work like this silk one. I'm going to try it out. I've really always had great luck with this cheese silk infusion. Um, and this is a product that I would recommend above any products, no matter if your hair is curly or straight. So, I hope that helps. And those are just some of the products that I use on my hair. Um, never brush your hair with a hair, ne never brush your curls with hairbrush. Always use like a comb when you're brushing it out, like a wide tooth comb after you get out of the shower because that will kind of keep them like PC and together so that when you use the mousse, it's like a little bit more PC as opposed to like frizzy. So I don't use a brush when I'm going to do it curly. So anyways, and then you know, you just scrunch at the bottom. The bad thing about curly hair is you never know. Like you can have like a, just like straight hair, you can have a good curly hair day and you can have a bad curly ha hair day. So it's really a gamble. And it's like a true gamble because when your hair is curly, there's not very much you can do to fix it except for, you know, use the curling iron. But if you're, if you're having a good cur curly hair day, I'm telling you those days are so few and far between and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm having the best curly hair day and you like want to take all the pictures of your curly hair because you know that you're not going to have another one for a long time. Wow, that was a really ramble story. So I'm just going to cut it off right here. I'm going to go curl my hair and then I'll be back to show you the final ending product of what I do on days like this. Okay, so this is the finished look of when I help myself out with my curls. Um, I just take Probably I took like, and then maybe I'll pin this part back, but I probably took 10 pieces of hair, and it really makes the difference. More so on this side because it was flatter, but I take like the straighter looking pieces, and I use just thin curling iron. It's about the size, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know what size it is, but you just take it and you wrap around like this away from your face you know pretty much like that which helps out my curls so I really love this um, just to like help out my curls and then with all the product that's kind of in it it stays and then you know um, you can just scrunch it up so this is how I wear my hair um, when I'm going to try and wear it curly. Um, so those are the products I use. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any other like tips or tricks that you do for your curly hair, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to know. Because us curly hair girls know that we have spent a lifetime trying to figure out how to wrangle our hair. So any tips and tricks that I can pick up along the way, I will try anything out because, you know... You gotta love curly hair. People who have curly hair wish they had straight hair. People who had straight hair wish they had curly hair. The grass is always greener. So, anyway, I hope you all have a great day and thanks again for watching. Mwah. Bye.